Hello, my name is Francisca Durán. I'm an undergraduate student from Pontificia Universidad Católica de Chile, and my poster presentation is called Binding Free Energy Prediction to guide the synthesis of novel compounds with aerial piperacin peptide structure as potential factor 10A inhibitors. Cardiovascular disease are the number one cause of death globally. Thrombosis is a pathology that can cause a stroke and venous thromboembolism. Factor 10A is a serine protease that plays a key role in the chlorine cascade by activating prothrombin to thrombin. Direct factor 10A inhibition has been proved as successful anticoagulation therapy. Nevertheless, approved factor 10A inhibitors have adverse effects, where the risk of bleeding is the major concern. Consequently, there is a need to develop new small molecules that can inhibit factor 10A. Here we show novel compounds with aerial piperacin peptide structure as potential factor 10A inhibitors. First, a virtual combinatorial library of 96 compounds with aerial piperacin scaffold was generated and their binding conformations to factor 10A estimated by molecular docking, followed by binding free energy prediction through the molecular mechanics poison Boltzmann surface area method. Relative binding free energy calculation without entropy contributions were performed. Multifactor analysis of variants suggests a preference for a fluorine atom in meta position with respect to the ring of piperacinon at the S4 site. S configuration and a chlorobenzene at the S1 site. And also a preference for large substituents binding to a side line binding residues arginine 143, glutamic acid 147, and glutamine 192. The binding mode of these compounds is in L shape within the active site of factor 10A, similar to approved factor 10A inhibitors. The predicted Ki values for these ligands are in the subnanomolar to nanomolar range, based on a calibration curve generated from binding free energy estimates of known factor 10A inhibitors. However, correlation with real values may vary because entropy contributions were not considered. So, as conclusions, these results suggest potential factor 10A inhibition of aerial piperacin peptide derivatives, and they are the first step for subsequent synthesis and biological validation.